Yes, YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel. As you know, I've been changing the style on my channel lately, and today's video is keeping on that theme. I want to start my Tales with Civ uh, episodes of my channel, start that series. I think it will be cool. I hope you want to know a bit of my stories. It's, you probably know I'm not a saint, not many people are, but I'm also not super naughty. I've said I'll tell you some of the stories of my childhood and this and that, different things that has happened to me throughout the years, 30 years on this football called Planet Earth, and I've been thinking of where to start with these stories, and I've decided the best place to be to start would be at the beginning not being born and all that's a bit far at the beginning but my first story where I started getting a naughty side to me and this all began picture this picture back I was six years old at the time I think six maybe seven we're gonna go for six because I think I was six so, six years old, I uh, was in year two at little school. I used to get walked to school then, back then, being only six and all. So I had been walked to school by, I think it was my next door neighbour, because she used to walk me and then after that there was this other woman I used to get walked to school by and then after that I used to walk myself to school but so I think it was my next door neighbour so she had walked me to school took me to the playground I was my mate also come to that school so she, she walked in there anyway but we got to the playground she said boy let me go and play with my mates before you go into school as you do at that age and I was sat on the playground just casually staring over the fence into the bushes. Well, I thought it'd be crazy if I spent the day in them bushes. Not too far from school, I weren't a rebel, but so there I was just daydreaming what my day would be like if I wag school. I wanted to spy on people in school who didn't know I was there. It was in my head I'd got it going, it was kind of cool, just my imagination running wild with me. And then my mate come over to me, and stood next to me, and said, what are you looking at? And I explained to him what I was looking at, and he was like, yeah, I think we should wag school, I reckon that's a good idea. Being young, I was like, yeah. So we got it, we was going to work school, but our plan was to sit in these bushes, but he weren't having none of that. He wanted to go to the park, because that was just down the road from school. You have to go out of school, down this long alley, over the train bridge, and you're in the park. That was his plan. And I, he talked me into it, so that's what we've done. Six years old, a little sprog, and there I am, wagging school. Walked down the alley, over the bridge, sat on the swings. There we were, me and my mate, playing on the swings in the park, just casually. Now you think this story should be coming to an end soon, because we're two six-year-old kids playing alone in a park during school hours. We've got to be, what, 500 yards away from school? And people walking past and that, you'd think at least one of them would be like, hang on a minute now. Nah. But no, this is back in the 90s, so you could get away with a lot more as a kid growing up then than you can now. And there we was, playing away for about an hour. After about an hour, we start to get bored. So what else could we do? So I'll tell my mate, I know this other park. It's not really a park, it was a, a swing and slide and stuff in a beer garden and a pub. And I tell him it's not that far, and really it's not that far. It's from 
pretty much one side of Aberston to the other. It's not all that far, but when you're six, it's fucking miles. To go there, we have to go up to the top of the park and get onto the canal. I've always been around the canal and that growing up. But we get onto the canal, start walking down towards this place. We get so far down, the lights are like, so where's this place that is? Are you sure you know where it is? We're like, yeah, it's just a bit further. We go a bit further. So like, are you sure you know where it is? We're like, yeah, it's just down here. We go a bit further, sure enough, there it was. So now we're playing in a pub beer garden at the age of six, at probably like nine, ten o'clock in the morning. Chilling, having a bit of a fuck about. Stay there for like half an hour. And my mate starts getting scared, like, I think we should go back. I think we should go back. So I'm like, yeah, we'll start heading back. I ain't going to school though, because like, what are we going to say to them? So we start heading back towards that direction, so my mate feels a bit safer. We're walking back up along the canal, and we get so far up, and then finally, two six year olds walking all about on this. And there's an old woman. She stops like, oh, where are you two going? I'm like, uh, let's do one. And we're at the side of this. It's got houses built there now. The new house is built by the railway station, but it used to be just a bit of wasteland. So I dipped off into there, turned around like, where's my mate? Like, look back. He's still walking with the woman. So I sneak back like, what's he doing? What's he doing? And like, oi, like, come on. He's like, no, come here. I'm like, you what? So I go back over to him, he's like, no, I'm going back with this woman. So then, this woman walks us back to school. We get back to school, we get back to school, and that's where the bollocking began. And from about there on, for about the next two weeks, straight bollockings, non-stop, bad decision, scarving school at the age of six. So we get back to school with this woman. She tells the teacher that she's found us on the canal. We're meant to be at school. And the teacher's like, yeah, yeah, go and tells us to go and sit outside. They ring my mum Why I'm sat outside. They call me into the office. I get in there, my mum's in there. Like, fuck, six years old. Mum's had to come out of work. She was not happy. Not one bit. So I take the bottle of kid at school carry on with the lessons, I have my uh, dinner time taken off me, I still get to eat dinner but I'm not allowed to go out and play, I think that lasted for like a month, uh, I weren't allowed out to play at dinner time or break time, I had to be watched to make sure I didn't run off, I only scored once, I thought it'd be fun, uh, not a criminal, but so yeah, I had to be watched for about a month at school and then I get home from school, my mum's having a go at me some more, and then my dad gets home, bloody hell, that's where the real bollocking began. And for that, I got grounded for two weeks. Now, that's a long time when you're six. So I was there happily, well not happily, miserably serving my time as grounded. And then this one day, my mate from, who lives next door to me, comes round my house with his bub. My mum and dad let him in. He's in my back garden, I go in the back garden to him, we start fucking about. Just having a play, as six year olds do. And this is a different mate I was skiving with, I might add. He, this mate's like two years younger than me, the other mate's in my year. I'm not giving names away because I don't know if they want to be mentioned in the story or not. But my mate come round, we was playing about in the garden for like ten minutes. He goes back round home, oh, I got a bollocking. Why well, was I playing at in the, in the garden with him? Well, because you let him round here. So, then I got another bollocking for that. And then, I served me time. The two weeks was up. After that, I think I was quite good for a long time after that. I think I learned my lesson. So then, I don't think I skived school again until I got to the high school. But uh, then that, I, did, I don't think I skived school in year seven or eight. It was only year nine and 10 and 11 when I started skiving school. Mum and Dad don't know about that though, so I hope they're not watching. I like people to watch my videos, but tend to get more bollockings if Mum and Dad watch them. So that's my first story during my Civ Tales episodes. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I've got loads more, so 
give this video a big thumbs up and I will make more tiles. Like I say, I have got loads more yet to come. Some are naughtier, some are just funny. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. RS Magnet Fishing, like and subscribe. Walk by.